Hello and welcome in here to the Linfield Sports Network. Graham Feynman along with head men's soccer coach Adam Howard. Thank you very much for taking the time to join us. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. And so here for the uh, Wildcat Weekly Coaches Report. Uh, Coach, we'll kind of start getting into things just with the overall kind of season as a whole. Uh, So last season, Cats made a massive improvement. 14 points better than the year before. Uh, What are your kind of points of emphasis going into this season to continue to improve? Yeah, I just think uh, we're really excited to bring back a lot of guys that had a lot of experience uh, from last year's team. Uh, can kind of use use that as a uh, momentum going into our conference schedule coming up. Um, you know, we had a longer off season with uh, the, our international trip last year, so it gave us a little bit more time to work um, last spring. And so we just feel really good about you know all the work that these guys have done to build upon last season's success for sure. So the Cats at this point coming in two and three uh, into the conference schedule. What has you most excited about the group so far this season? Yeah, I just think that uh, we've been able to kind of create a style of play that we wanted to um, be more attack minded and and be more aggressive and uh, being able to try to get more of a higher line of pressing and and trying to be use our athleticism as a strength for us. And so, uh, you know, I think we've demonstrated that over over our uh, first uh, preseason games and been able to kind of utilize some of those, you know, speed and, and kind of working together and, and we're still working on it. You know, it's it's not a perfect situation yet, um, but we like the progress that the guys have made for sure. And so then talking about that, that biggest uh, thing that you think you need to improve on here after those first five games. Yeah, I just think being consistent, uh, you know, I think that we've had really good moments in all the games um, and there's just been some minor breakdowns that have kind of hurt us. Um, and so I think just, you know, having less of those moments and, and making sure that we're solid in the back and not giving up, you know, as many goals has been a, is key for us and so many talking points for our, our guys so far. So, you know, we keep focusing on how do we give up fewer and fewer goals? How do we um, stop some of those situations from happening um, and then on the other end of that create some more goal scoring opportunities and we feel like you know the guys have been getting in front of the net plenty of opportunities and um, we got some confidence in the game the other day and, and we just got to keep that rolling. So going into that game from the other day Cats come off a big 5-0 victory against Walla Walla and five different players scored goals in that game Cesar Cruz Espindola currently the Cats leading goal scorer uh, Ryan Kister Dayton Farrow freshman Logan Kleiser and Isaiah Flores Tactically, tactically, excuse me. What did you love from that game, and what are things again that you can kind of continue to improve on? I mean, a big offensive output in that game. Yeah, I thought our guys uh, circulated the ball really well. I thought, you know, we kept a high percentage of uh, possession throughout the game and connected passes, and um, you know, were dangerous going forward when we had the ball, and um, and did our very best to not let them out whenever we could, and capitalize on some of their mistakes. And I think all those guys. Um, with, it was a great team effort that put them in some of those situations. And um, I think, you know, just to credit all the guys and their, their hard work really paid off for sure. So, again, kind of looking more specifically at this group, you mentioned the defense trying to give up less goals this season. Pretty young back line for the Wildcats. They will be led by Luke Marks. And with kind of the younger freshman you've brought in, it has allowed Chase Whitaker to move back into that midfield position. Played a lot of center back last year for you guys. Uh, what have you really liked about that group? And, again, it is young. So what have you been doing in particular to get them ready for the conference schedule? Yeah, I think, you know, the adjustment to college is always going to be a process and getting those guys experience we knew was the most important piece. So getting them opportunities to get on the field and, uh, you know, and and see what it's like and the physicality piece has been really, really important um, for them to um, get those opportunities. And so I I think, you know, we just keep working with them. We've been doing a lot of uh, rewatching film and ways we can get better and things that we can do to get, you know, a little sharper in the back. And um, I think just in training, the guys have been coming and working really hard and want to learn and want to grow. And and that's been a big piece of it. And so, you know, we understand that uh, it's going to take some time to to learn, but they've uh, picked it up really quickly and, and we're really happy where they're at. So continuing to move back now, we go to the goalkeepers, a group that's pretty deep for you guys. Uh, we saw kind of a committee almost last year, Cameron Perrin and Nick Van Cleek kind of going back and forth, and we've started to see that this season as well. Now we're adding freshman Julian Inches to the fold, and he's looked impressive as well. Yeah, we, we like all three of our keepers. Uh, we feel that's definitely one of our strengths is, is having confidence in all three of those guys in the net. Uh, all three of them do something a little different than the other one. Um, so, you know, it could be 
almost a tactical piece of, of who gets the starting nod uh, in those games. But I think uh, for the most part, you know, all three of those guys have, have really, really pushed each other and challenged each other and come to compete. And, um, you know, all three have have made great impacts in our, our, our you know, young season right now. Um, and it's still an open open opportunity for all those guys to go get it. Very cool. And so then just kind of to wrap things up here, Cats play three of their first four conference games here at home. How important is it to get off to a good start here and get hot going as the conference season continues? Oh, man, it's it's so important. Um, I think, you know, we got to take advantage of these of these home games because our conference is so tough um, and, and every game is going to be a battle. And we know that. And uh you know, whenever you have a chance to play at home, you got to take full advantage and, and you got to get the three points as much as you can. And um, we, we know as long as we protect our home games, then, uh, you know, we give ourselves a chance um, in this conference. But, you know, we, we know that every game is going to be difficult and we, you know, have a lot of respect for Whitworth and what they've done as a program. And uh, we know that's going to be a, a big challenge for us this coming Saturday. So coming in this weekend, the Cats will play their first two conference games at home. They'll both be here uh, at the soccer complex at the Linfield College campus, first at noon on Saturday against Whitworth before taking on Whitman on Sunday. Coach, thank you so much for the time and best of luck this season. Thank you so much.